Hello and welcome to the Den of Samurai, back again for another bit of Draft League content. We're back in Lumius again. Um, this will probably be one of the last videos that I do of... Um, that's a bad way of phrasing it. One of the last videos I do before I have a new league for you. Um, because I have Lumius, which is one of the last Gen 8 leagues going. Um, and then after a while I will have a few others. Maybe possibly three or four other leagues going at once. Which would be great for a Gen 9. It'll take me a long while to edit them, but... Oh well, I might not record all of them in that case. But for now, we have this matchup here. Um, with quite a lot going on the opponent's side of the field. It's not the most defensively sturdy team, but between Megalatios, um, with no complex bands, uh, Scizor, Gapdos, Lando, it's pretty threatening, and even though walls are quite threatening. Lando can be defensive, but, uh, but threatening. Feeny can be... Uh, defensive but threatening, Drapion can be defensive but threatening, you get the idea. Even something like Karkul could come to try and spread burns. Um, I'm going to try and do this intro thing a little bit shorter than I have been before um, because I've been doing them too long. They've been taking like 10 to 15 minutes. I'm just going to get this done um, and then I'm going to cut to the battle. Um, I'm just going to go over the team pretty briefly. So there's the team here. Um, I am more or less set on it. Um, Ire was that's to say, Ursa Ring was Mega Altaria for such a long time, but I changed it because I want to use Ursa Ring. We're 2 and 1 now. Um, we're third in the division, I believe. Um, so, we can afford it, basically, um, to have a week of fucking about. But, firstly, I'm going to talk about. Let's talk about Infernape. Because Infernape is a nightmare for them to switch into. Um, if my prediction is decent, then they really don't avoid dealing with it. I do kind of want rocks on this somewhere. It might be better than Thunder Punch. Um, because their removal, if we go down here and have a look, it's like a lot of mom. Actually, to be fair, it is quite good. I can't really argue with that. Um, I was going to say they're not very good defogs, but they're all pretty good defoggers. Um, so it might not be worth taking a spot on Band Ape for that, especially when Thunder Punch is there, which is a nice mid ground between Feeny and potentially Gapdos. Um, and it also will, you know, just deal neutral damage to a lot of things. It's better than Gunk Shot, in my opinion, for that, because it can't be absorbed by Scizor, um, and it's, yeah, it's better than Earthquake as well, in my opinion. Um, Flare Blitz is super spammable, um, if Feeny is dealt with, and um, there is absolutely no switch for it. CC is almost as spammable, if not more spammable. Um, Lando pros a problem for CC, but yeah, um, I'm going to use him over the place too. I've got Adamant on Ape, despite their speed tiers suggesting I can't really, because um, Adamant Ape uh, hits base 300 speed with the speed. Basically, I think their Zapdos is going to run Adamant if it's Scarfed, um, which will mean it will be 299 speed, so if I happen to remove the Scarf through... Um, actually, I don't have a way of removing the Scarf, but if they are banded or something, they could genuinely try for Adamant, um, because they can outspeed Timid Rotom Fan with that. Um, so they may just um, try and go for that. Uh, if they run 252 Adamant and they will get out of bed by this ape. And I don't think they're going to chance it anyway. It would be dumb for the chance if they weren't Scarf. And I'm not staying on, on Scarf anyway, if I suspect it's Scarf. Um, I have my nicknames as game, by the way, if you think you can work it out. There's certain other clues if you're trying to work out what the, uh, the nickname theme is. But yeah, I've gone for that again. Um, Next up we'll have NVIDIA, who is a set I am not sure on whatsoever. Um, we've got Foul Play, Dark Pulse, Ice Beam, Thunderbolt with a Scarf set. Now, Bolt Beam is self-explanatory. It hits everything super, super hard. It hits everything super, super well, um, with the exception of something like Ordino. Um, but I'm not too worried about Ordino, because I can switch into Ordino fairly well. Um, the main reason I want Dark Cry Scarf is for that Latios um, and for the Zapdos. Now, if we have a look at Darkrai here against, say, Zapdos, we can see that I'm revenging it for pretty good damage on the Scarf set, and also, uh, if they are to a Scarf, we're taking a Brave Bird, which is always nice. Um, but yeah, it's mainly to try and force that back. And the other thing is Mega Latios, because if it is Calm Mind, I bypass the Calm Mind to Foul Play, um, which you will see if they are fully special. I will still do a ton of foul play and they can't boost themselves out of range of foul play, like I will do damage no matter what. Um, and if they are Dragon Dance, then 
definitely do something like this. Um, and yeah, all of a sudden, not hasty maybe, maybe like, say naive, but if they are Dragon Dance and they get a dance off, I will still outspeed and foul play will absolutely destroy them. Um, so, yeah, that is the main reason for foul play. Foul play also helps us with potential Sword Stance Landorus, Sword Stance uh, Scizor. Um, all those who fail Landorus, I would probably just nice be in there. But Scizor, especially if it is. Oops, excuse me. Offensive Sword Stance Scizor, foul play will revenge kill it. Um, and they need Life Orb to kill the plus three bullet punch. Otherwise, they, if they're left over something, then they can't kill. So, yeah. That I would consider Incinerate on Darkrai, but Foul Play just seems better. I don't want to be without Dark Pulse because that seems a bit stupid. Because, you know, it gives Ordino totally free switches. I mean, Ordino, they don't run no attack IVs, to be fair, but they can run like Calm. And Foul Play will just do negative damage. Dark Pulse at least can help me to force Wishes, um, which I can then use to get a certain other Pokemon. So, another Pokemon like. Actually, I'll talk about Eure in a sec, because um, I want to talk about Superbia now, because Torn is a bit of a gloom on here. The thing with most of their threats is they are prone to re winning through repeated hits, right? With the exception of Gapdos and Megalatios, their goal is to try and wear a team down over time. Torn is going to help me combat that. Torn has to be bulky, um, and I have to run these four moves, I think. I don't have to run rocks at Defog actually. Their rockers are only Carcoal and Land of T, and they have T spikes, but T spikes aren't that scary against me, to be honest with you. Um, and I, I don't think they're going to bring T spikes to Rapture, personally. They could, but I don't think they will. Um, but yeah, I was I was debated for a long time on the boots thing. I'm still not certain of it, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to go boots. Um, Hurricane is obviously damage dealing, U turn is pivoting, both are essential. Toxic and Defog. Defog is for clearing hazards, but it's also for clearing Feeny's terrain. Because if the Feeny turns out to be Iron Defense, Calm Mind, Draining Kiss, I want to be able to clear the terrain and I want to be able to toxic it. Um, because that set is genuinely terrifying against me. Um, once it is like that, I can then go into Gula and I can use Protect to stall it down um, with my massive Spadef investment. Protect's also just for getting more leftovers out. Um, Gula itself is my primary switch to Megalatios, which is a terrifying threat, to be honest with you. I don't have a lot to do with Megalatios. Gula is the best bet, they will know that. I have the investment on Melmetal to be able to take, let me get this back, Megalatios, a max attack Earthquake at plus one. If they're adamant, I take that quite handily, and I could also take a Modest, I do not think they're going to run Modest even for a second by the way, but I can run a modest, living Modest Focus Blast most of the time and always live a Timid one at plus one. No, I say Focus Blast, or fit. So yeah, that is the main thing in Pangula. Um, it's going to do the initial switching job. It's not great at it, it can't even take two Aura Spheres, um, but if I switch in directly into an Aura Sphere, I'm going to click Protect, I'm going to pivot out into something, probably Torn. Um, but the main thing I want Gula to do is to switch into the Dracos, um, because nothing else does that. Uh, nothing else on my roster even really does that, because um, Altaria switches into Draco all day, but it doesn't want to take the Ice Beams, um, which I do think it could be running. So, yeah. Latios, as always, has... Mega Latios, I should say, as always, has a bit of a move slot problem here, because it wants the Draco, um, it wants the Aura Sphere slash Mystical Fire, probably Aura Sphere, because it's a Pilot's Mind too. Um, it wants Roost, it wants Calm Mind, um, and then after that it still needs something for Sloking, it still needs something for um, Decidueye potentially. Actually no, that's Ice Beam, fair enough. Um, but I, I don't know, I feel like they want to hit 5-6 moves or something, so I don't know, it'll drop something and I can capitalise on that. Return Fan, straightforward, check to uh, Gapdos. Um, I've not gone with Air Slash this week, I don't think it's necessary, I don't think there's anything that's really worth it for. Landorus can take more from Foul Play, um, and yeah, there's nothing else I'm really going to want Air Slash. Nagalatios also takes a lot more from Foul Play, and Willow is just good for 
existence and pain split is a good tool to keep me alive because I have no longevity tools on this rotten panel otherwise. Um, the blind bash I've got to mention will kill Latios and you may be wondering well this set is utterly body by Karkul um, and I do think Karkul actually has a very good chance of coming as do Electros because my opponent has bought Electros a couple times uh, I think actually every game so far they brought Electros and they brought Karkul once or twice Karkul is a great check from Mel because even though it takes a ton it's got flame body yeah. Mel Metal will not be coming in and clicking and firing off tons of attacks until Karkul is dead and Karkul will be dead because I'm going to have Ursa ring do the job of the game because I'm going to use U-turn, U-turn and Volt Switch from my pivots to get Ursa ring in and I'm just going to click buttons because Ursa ring with this set with 252 Jolly which is actually an important number I've not just slapped one basically it will outspeed everything up to base 95 on their team which is most things as long as they're defensive if they're slow, something like Feeny needs almost 100 speed EVs to outspeed this Ursa Ring. Something like Scizor has no chance, unless it runs Jolly itself. And so, when I bring this in on almost anything that has any actual bulk, that wants to take a U-turn mine, because Gapdos does not want to switch into Infernape, Latios does not want to take a U-turn, and if it does want to take a U-turn, I can just go Dark and force it back out again. Um, so anything slower, I can go Ursa Ring. And I can smack it with a facade, I can smack it with an earthquake, fire punch, ice punch, I can do whatever. They cannot stop me. Um, there's absolutely nothing that can switch into this except for the possible Silvalli Ghost. Which seems like a really strange use of Silvalli to me. Um, the only thing for Silvalli I can see would be potentially Fairy, because they might assume that I'm going to bring Thunderbolt as I move for Fini on, on Torn, but. I don't know, it doesn't make sense to me. So Valley Fire would be a decent Mel check, but they've got Karkol, which at least burns. So I don't know. I don't know. I think they'll um I think that uh, will be able to do the work. So that's the team. Um I've meant to do this quickly, but I've ended up taking 12 minutes anyway. So I'm going to leave you now and hopefully there'll be a fun little fade effect and I'll see you at the battle. And we are back, going into team preview here. Um, I've just set my challenge off. Um, I've sent it. Cool, we're in. Whoa, okay, okay. That is not what I was expecting. <laughs> right. No Latios at all. I am glad I didn't bend over too far backwards for that. I'm amazed there's no Latios. At live battle. God damn. Made the right choice to bring Altaria. Actually, Altaria's pretty great here. But... Right. That means that there's nothing faster than 8 Blast Scarf. Which is really good. Let me just quickly check on the flame. So, no Tapu Fini isn't that strong. He's so. Okay, if it's invested, it'll kill. Right. Surf, yeah. Um. Torn is pretty safe. Um, they could leave with their rocks. I think I might leave Darkrai, to be honest with you. For um, it, it deals with pretty much everything. Darkrai leads. Electros is their lead. Electros is their lead. I mean, if they're like physical. Very physical, foul play is going to do a lot. Um, but they could just drain punch me if they're physical. Which I kind of suspect they are. But if they're choice specs, which they could also be, um, because they led it, presumably as a response to me not le leading Pile of Swine. But the choice specs is going to do a lot. I kind of want to just scout at this point. So I'm just going to Dark Pulse to see what happens. 28. Cool. That is very physical. Giga Drain. U turn. I mean, it's not. Actually. Okay, it's not that offensive. But it's pretty offensive. Dark Pulse at 28. So that is. Like. 
pretty AV, I want to say. Yeah, that's quite a lot of investment AV. What it could be is something like this, but like careful. Sorry, I understand you can't see the screen. Maybe something like max HP, max attack, careful. That satisfies both calcs. Can we get you turn off at 9% on Zapdos? From Rotom. But that is Choice Scarf. Not surprisingly at all. Landorus comes in. I don't want to get knocked. Because that is what's coming here. Um, I don't know. Well, it's knocking or it's um, Dark Cry Lando. It's knocking or it's Roxing. There's no point in coming in otherwise. Landorus. Therian. Uh, I think it knocks or rocks because it, it was sort of a U turn. I don't need this scarf. Really, because of the. Uh, it's toxic, okay. That's interesting. That's very interesting. They're going to land on this. They're probably going to go eel. I'm going to foul play. They're going to Feeny. Okay. And it's got no leftovers. Let me calc this. Foul play did 9%. So it can't be like fully fizz death. In fact, it might just be offensive. It would make sense. If this is like Scarf or Specs Feeny. <clears throat> it would make sense. Um, I'm tempted to go into Melmetal. If this is Choice Specs. And they go for his scar. I mean, we will eat him. Oh, we should. I do want to scout it. Toxic on the land is good to know. If it's toxic, it's probably not the mail check. Um, dude, I could so easily just spam. Iron Defense. Looking at it. They Surf, six, that's 32%. Tapu Fini Surf, that is Choice Scarf. Yeah, cool. That is Normal Scarf or Modest? That could be Timid, but it's probably Modest. Actually, hang on, 32.1. Uh, is there I can check what that is? It's probably 133 hit points. Can that do 133 hit points for the Surf? Oh wait, no, that is Timid. Okay, it's Timid. Cool. Um, cool. They are going to fear the Thunder Punch. Which would do a lot. The Blind Bash does as much. Um, I think I'm going to Acid Armor. Sizzle comes in. We've acid armored up. I mean, if I'm at plus four, body pressure took you. Yeah. I'm just gonna protect see what they do. The U turn. Cool. I'm just gonna acid armor. Ah! Uh, the U turn, I kinda wanna body press. Cool, they go Lando. We body press them for 32. No helmet. Uh, Landorus Therian. Plus two body press does 23. That's not defensive at all. It's max HP. So it could be Spadef. A minus one dib is seriously hurting out of this range. 
How much am I doing with a plus four press? I mean, plus four press is going to really put some work in. I feel. With Tapu Fini, I'm going to need, like, a lot of bloody boosts. It might be fine, though. How much is Lando doing if... I'm just Therian. It's max HP, Earthquake. At plus two. It's not doing much, I'm going to have armor again. Let's see what they want to do. Electros comes in. Assault Vest. On oh, plus four. I'm going to body press. Ooh. We're faster? Okay. Good to know. Slow ass eel. <laughs> I don't know why it's that slow. In comes Sizzle. Takes 52%. Takes a bunch of helmet chip. Um. I'm going to acid armor again on the roost. Okay, Lando comes in. I acid armor again. So Lando Asterion, at this point, is doing like nothing with Earthquake. And a plus six body press is doing a ton. Fair enough. Mm, that's still, yeah. I'm going to protect again. Just for some more leftovers. Um. I'm gonna body press. And we're gonna do 49. Let's protect again. I think. I think that is good for max leftovers. How much is Zapdos doing? Zapdos Gala. Choice Scarf. It's not doing much. I'm just going to protect them. Body press. I could really do without a crit, to be honest. <laughs> With them wanting it. Ooh. That's all, that's uncomfortable. <laughs> oh dear. Alright, this is offensive Fini. It should get 2 KO'd. Surf did 32, so I'm going to protect. I'm going to scout what it wants to go for. 62. Let's go for a body press. 36. That's even more than I thought it would. To protect again. Gula breaking this hole is super good. So Valley Fairy comes in. Savali so Fairy Utility Flamethrower I mean How much do I value Gula at this point? Because Flamethrower's probably gonna kill I can go in for Nape And kinda eat it And fire for Flare Blitz and I'm in good I can set up again on Scizor kind of freely. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to go Ape. I'm going to go for a Band of Flare Blitz. Actually, let me cap that. 12.9 Flamethrower. Uh, to, in fact, that's not only uninvested, that's jolly. Okay, good to know. We do 91 with that. God damn. That is most likely bulkless. That's f just SD. Cool. Well, we've nuked this. We've nuked the hell out of Electros. Feeny's low and has no recovery. So, this is this is really looking good. Tapu, Feeny, Choice Scarf. Uh, can Tornadus take this? If it's, we know it's Tim and Scarf, Surf, I mean they could trick me, yeah Torn can take this. Cool, 
Um, at which point I can U turn. I just feel like, oh, this is Earth, okay. How well is Earth Ring taking this? Actually, I can go Dark Rai. I'm sorry for T Bolt, if I understand. Um, Dark Rai will kill Fiend with T Bolt. I built Kofi new T-Bolt. Um, which is happy days. Sizzle comes in. Sizzle, I'm pretty sure it's like Fizz Def. 48. It is taking this. I mean, it's. Uh, Infinite can kind of come in. I don't got eight. Yep, we got the eight pen for free. Um, I might die to the recoil, but fuck it. We're going to eel and sack it. Cool. Electros completely blew that game open. I'm, a, I'm kind of amazed it did that well. It's such an automatic move for me to go into. Rotom on this. Just more chip. If we go into the scissor, my fire for Willow Wisp. We miss. They do wing beat me. Oh. That's not good for them. <laughs> right, Willow again. Um, I'm gonna. I don't know what I'm gonna do. They could just... I think Torn is just the play. Because with Torn in, Sizzle didn't want to come in. I can go back into it on Fam. They Brave Bird, they get a crit. Um, I'm gonna Volt Switch. Oh jeez, what's happened? Okay. Ursa Ring. I'm gonna bring it and get to kill. GG's. Cool. 6 0! <laughs> oh, that was a quicker one. A lot quicker than last week. But goddamn. That worked out. Mel Metal was dumb. <laughs> that set is so underrated. It's so underrated. Fucking hell. That felt really fast. Uh, maybe I'm just feeling last week a bit because I had to obviously do the postcom. Um, Shinai versus three and four. Um, I had to do the postcom, so yeah. So last week felt really long, but that one just went well. I, I, the game plan to get Ursaring in completely went out the window because the Fino scarf and and you know there was no Latias and yeah, goddamn. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Other than GG's to Steven, it was a fun game. Um, he brought some stuff which I expected, like AV Eel, um, but he brought some stuff I didn't. I did not expect that Scarfini. Um, but thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, hope you enjoyed the results. It's another big result. We got a 5 0 last week, 6 0 this week. It's happy days. Um, so I hope you enjoyed, as I say, and I'll catch you in a bit.